Hi, Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches. I just recently did a blog on something called The Locked-In Effect and what the impact that will have on the real estate market in 2024. And basically the construct is, is that people who are currently in their homes are not going to list their homes because they're locked in. Why are they locked in? They're locked in because they have a low interest rate. They're locked in because if they move their real estate taxes may, may change and they're locked in because their insurance is also maybe very dicey. And then if they have insurance, they're very happy. In some cases, they may not be able to get new insurance and they get new insurance, it may be more expensive. So they're locked in particularly because of the interest rate. So listings are low and until listings grow, there'll be no opportunity for these folks to move on. And how do we get listings to, to, to pop up? And that's where the Federal Reserve comes in. They've said that they're not gonna be reducing interest rates currently, at least through May. Right now, we're, we're at the end, the beginning of February. And by doing so, they think that if someone wants to sell their home, they're gonna to have to drop the price. And if they drop the price, that will actually start to lower the value of real estate and allow it to be more affordable to get more folks into the marketplace, which means that the locked-in effect will start to thaw. Those people who couldn't sell will now be able to sell. Those who couldn't buy because interest rates were too high will be able to buy. It doesn't necessarily mean that rates will go up, but what it does mean is that the market will come back. We're at a 28-year low in terms of volume of resales here in the United States and also in Florida. So many companies, whether they're furniture companies, title companies, lawyers, architects, engineers, all are hurting right now because they're all part of the real estate industrial complex, which has come to not a halt, but has gone into a slow motion situation. And the only way that's gonna change is not by necessarily lowering interest rates, but by keeping interest rates high so that sellers will have to lower their prices and that it will become ultimately a buyer's market and therefore sellers will, will start to move on and they themselves will become buyers. But until that happens, the seller will not become a buyer and the seller will remain locked in because of their low interest rate. Of course, as interest rates come down, then sellers will want to then sell too. But at that point, prices may start to rise and that doesn't get us back into a situation where we can have people who aren't in the real estate market get into the market. So it's a very tricky situation, but don't expect interest rates to be dropping that quickly like other pundits are saying for the very reason of the lock-in effect. Roy Oppenheim from The Trend.